I take my D500, my D850, and the 200 to 500 out in search of one incredible bird of prey, the osprey. These birds love to eat fish and watching them catch their prey is just totally awesome. If you've never had the pleasure of seeing this, then you're in for a real treat because I'm going to show you exactly how these birds manage to defy the law of physics. Come on, let's go find some ospreys. Ah, the beach. A magical place where the land meets the sea and an excellent place to grab some great images. A group of eager fishermen were willing to try their luck by casting their lines into the turbulent waters. They created a nice moody atmosphere for this picture. A glint of golden sunshine in the crashing waves caught my eye, so I used my camera to freeze time and turn the waves to what looks like glass. A fast shutter speed of 1 1600th of a second was enough to not only freeze the motion of the waves, but also capture all that beautiful light as it moved across the surface of the water. A large group of black skimmers flew in and landed on the other side of the dunes. These weren't the ospreys I was looking for, but these birds are definitely worth a closer look. I wanted to set up and grab some slow motion video of these birds, so this was the perfect opportunity to do that. I think these birds have the right idea. Nothing quite like relaxing on the beach with your toes in the sand. Even the occasional wave doesn't seem to bother them too much. Time to grab some images of these awesome looking birds. I had some great light and grabbed this image before the black skimmers took to the air. Check out those crazy looking bills. You would think they were thick, but this head-on shot proves otherwise. Time for a few quick in-flight shots to see what these birds look like in the air. And of course, these incredible looking black skimmers were nice enough to present me with some awesome opportunities to capture them as they flew just a few meters in front of me. The lighting conditions were just perfect. These two shots should give you a better idea of just how amazing looking these birds really are. Since the ospreys weren't coming to me, I decided to go to them. You can see one osprey perched on a bridge post in this shot. I drove my truck to the top of the bridge to get a little closer. I was effectively using my car as a blind because birds don't always see a vehicle as a threat. The lighting was perfect. I got in range and I fired off a couple of shots. This is where the D850 really shines. Here's the full resolution shot. It's not too bad. I mean, it's an osprey. And here's a close up. Look at all of that detail. It's absolutely incredible. One more close up. Wow, look at the eye. I've never seen that much detail in an eye. I'm extremely impressed. The action started to pick up down below in the inlet. So it was time to go see if I could catch some shots of these ospreys in action. So watching these ospreys hunt is absolutely incredible. They hover up in the sky about 100 feet up, maybe like 30 meters. And they look for their food, which is various kinds of fish down here in this water. And as soon as they see it, they do this really cool transformation where they, they cock their wings back, they put their head down, and they come falling out of the sky like at 100 miles an hour like a bullet. And then they just crash right into the water. But right before they make impact with the water, they stick their big feet out with these big talons and go feet first into the water. And for a brief moment, they completely submerge themselves. They're gone, they're underwater. And at that moment, they have become part of the food chain in the water. So for every second that they stay in the water or on the surface, another one just fell. They're in extreme danger and he's got a fish. That's awesome. They're in extreme danger of becoming eaten by all the stuff in the water, like sharks, alligators, other fish, all kinds of stuff. But that's where the struggle really starts because now they've got a fish who is also fighting for survival and wiggling around in their claws. So now they have to defy the laws of physics and fly out of the water. With I'm gonna pause this video real quick because an osprey decided to do exactly what I'm describing while I was filming this segment. Here I'll highlight it in the sky and watch this area when the video continues in three, two, one, go. The fish that is often weighs as much as them or close to as much as them. So they gotta fly out of the water with this fish and then they have to fight off all the other ospreys and eagles and birds who come and try to steal it from them. It's an absolutely incredible uh, example of survival at, at the, the biggest extreme. And it's a really cool example of the food chain at work. There's, they're just falling everywhere out of the sky. Look, there goes another one. Look at him. Oh, he just hit the water. 
This was the moment I had been waiting for. Time to get some action shots. The first Osprey flew in for a really nice close-up before deciding to drop out of the sky. And then the action begins. The Osprey comes falling out of the sky, sticks those big sharp talons out, and success. A huge meal for the Osprey. I noticed that the D850 seemed to struggle keeping focus once the Osprey got down to the waterline. I'm not too sure if this was the camera's fault or my own. I was hand holding the lens and very excited. Time for round two. This Osprey hit the water like a ton of bricks and I noticed it seemed to have trouble getting back up in the air. This could only mean one thing. This Osprey must have a really big fish and it did. Look at the size of that thing. Wow. The D850 nailed the focus on this shot perfectly but the struggle for the Osprey had just begun. Another Osprey flies in in an attempt to steal the fish. Time for some evasive maneuvers. The Osprey banks and gives us a nice look at that impressive wingspan, but this maneuver wasn't enough to throw off the chase. The chasing Osprey swoops in for the attack, and the other Osprey drops the fish it worked so hard for. In the end, the fish lives to see another day, and both Osprey fly away with nothing. Absolutely incredible. After a quick dip in the ocean like that, the Ospreys have to try to lose some of the water weight that they have absorbed when they plunged down into the water. Um, it slows them down, makes them heavier, makes them less aerodynamic. So they'll always do this really cool thing where they fly up into the air and then they just do this violent shake for maybe a second and they almost fall out of the air when they do that. And it's always worth grabbing a few images when this happens. They always turn out pretty cool. So now that I've used the D850 to try to capture these incredible birds in the air, let's see how the D500 handles the same exact situation. I went for a faster shutter speed with the D500 and a wider aperture of f5.6. I'm only going to overlay my settings once for this series because it stayed the same throughout every image. I'll place it here in this first image. And the fast shooting speed of 10 frames per second on the D500 was a huge bonus here because it allowed me to capture the entire process as it unfolded before my eyes. So the Osprey sees a fish below and it banks giving us this really beautiful wing display. A slight adjustment to get in position for the drop. The wings go back as the Osprey gains some momentum. The wings come out a little bit to slow things down and the Osprey is locked on now as it comes falling straight down out of the sky. Coming down really fast now with a full wing spread. Those massive talons come out for the catch. The Osprey pulls its wings back, stretches its talons forward, and braces for impact. Crash right into the water. But was this dive successful? Yes, it was. The Osprey has pulled a catfish from the water. A well-deserved meal for one hard-working bird. This osprey can now fly off into the sunset with its prey. Or can it? From out of nowhere, another osprey comes flying in like a speeding jet, and the fight is on. The osprey with the fish banks and throws up its tail feathers as a shield to help block the incoming attack. This time, the evasive maneuver was a success. The osprey gets to fly away, finds a nice perch, and eats the food it worked so hard for. The catfish, well, it's become part of the food chain. Another absolutely incredible display of survival. So, which camera performed better in this situation? For me, I preferred the D500. The faster 10 frames per second allowed me to capture a lot more action. Um, it didn't seem to struggle as much as the D850 when the Ospreys would come down and hit that waterline. Um, and it recovered much faster from losing focus than the D850. Thanks for coming along. I had a great time. It was just far too much fun chasing those Ospreys and trying to photograph them as they came screaming out of the sky like that. As always, click the thumbs up. Leave comments. I love knowing what everybody thinks of the videos. Share the video too. That's a big help. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead. I've got a lot of really cool videos coming with uh, wildlife, cool stuff, birds, the D500, the D850. And again, thanks for coming along. Until next time.